Today I will showcase you a very neat way how to keep your projects um, consistent that would be the word I'll be using uh, using spreadsheets in FreeCAD so I'm gonna jump, uh, jump right into it I already have a spreadsheet that I'm called data and I already declared two variables why one is circle top and why is circle sides pay close attention to the si size of these uh, two holes here I'm gonna adjust this to let's say one millimeter and these two have been adjusted on the fly without me doing anything go into the sketch on none of that nonsense however I do need it to be at 2.6 uh, millimeters for my type of screw and that is perfect exactly what I want now I'm gonna add something to this because obviously uh, I want things to be added duh um 2.6 millimeters perfect that's the uh that's this now what i want is to define the distance between the two holes in my case that is uh let's just say circle top d for distance i'm gonna write a quick description distance between top holes okay cool and this is 14 millimeters this is what i want now i'm gonna right click to prop oh, well before i do that let's just copy this because i can't be bothered to type it in again right click into your properties alias and i'm gonna keep the names and aliens names here the same so it's easier to find okay so now yellow means the alias has been created so now back in the sketch i am going to double click on this 10 millimeter finger and here we go got this um i don't even know what this icon is but it basically means i can uh, look up my things as you can tell data is obviously my spreadsheet and now i typed in ci circles and there is a top D, circle top D, the one we just created in our spreadsheet. I select it and it tells you already it's 14 millimeters. So I click OK. Um, name optional, yeah, I'm gonna leave that. And voila, done. Just like that. So now it's 14 millimeters. It is amazing. I'm gonna close it for now. If the close button works beautiful <laughs> nice so there you have it in a nutshell however i got these two other pesty holes and those are m6 well supposed to be m6 have i defined them yes however i need them to be at 3.1 millimeters so i'm gonna do the same shtick oh all right they've already been defined uh, goodness me however i still would like ah perfect i still need to define the distance yeah now it's just hard coded here put in by hand that's not what i want i want to use my little uh spreadsheet thing though so i'm gonna go in here and again create another one circle and sides d for distance and distance between side holes so it's nice and easy for me to figure out what I'm doing once I have you know uh, I don't know 70 80 100 200 uh, variables then those descriptions will come in handy trust me and now what was the distance I think that was 60.4 millimeters for my 2u uh, to mount in the proper holes so copy this with ctrl c and then go on your cell click properties alias i'm gonna ctrl v paste again this name equals to the name in the actual sheet perfect job done oh it, even when i hover over it tells me what it is beautiful job freak beautiful job 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it, control S, go back to my design, go to holes, <laughs> goal sketch, yes, double click on here, on this icon thingy, now type data dot ci circles sides distance and that's the one i'm going for as you can tell at the end 60.4 millimeters because that's what it grabbed from the spreadsheet i'm gonna just click apply okay whatever and job done close so as you can tell that's nice and easy and now if you want to change the uh you know let's say distance between them two holes what i do is i just go in nice and easy and i'm gonna modify this to be 54 millimeters and with the top holes i'm gonna change it to i don't know 17 millimeters go back here and as you can tell things are changing on the fly and this is amazing about this feature in FreeCAD and I will find it very useful, especially when creating different types of uh, mounts, which is this entire unit for different type of DIN rails that have different hole sizes. And when I want to apply it on the wall or a 2U rack, or even I might be thinking of a 1U version of this, but that will be in the future. So hopefully this uh, explains a bit how the uh, actual spreadsheet can be very useful in your designs i find it super useful and the entire free card thing has been amazing and i'm learning all the time so yeah that's it for today thanks for watching cheers